From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. Police now actively looking into that stabbing incident on the campus of the government high school yesterday. Officers were directed to a corridor where they found two males lying on the ground. As a result, emergency medical services were summoned and on examination of both of the victims, one of the victims were pronounced lifeless on the scene and the other was transported to the hospital where he is listed in serious conditions. Police spokesman ASB Audley Peters on the scene. The victim identified as 15-year-old Ken Paul by relatives. It's believed that two other students were involved in the incident and may have left the school campus before police got there. Education Minister Lloyd describing the incident as unfortunate but maintains that schools are safe. The House meets later this morning. Members scheduled to debate a resolution to extend the current COVID-19 emergency powers orders to the middle of August, not expected to get the support of the opposition side. A total of 53 confirmed corona cases reported for the country for Monday spread over five islands, including 17 in Cat Island. That has the attention of health officials. The capital again had the most cases, 27. Grand Bahama, Exuma, and the Berries had cases also. 48 persons in hospital with six in the ICU. No other deaths confirmed for Monday. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials say they're still not sure if any of the variants of the virus are in the country at this point. They're still waiting for test results to determine that. Atlantis officials explaining why they decided to cut ties with 700 staff members. The resort was losing too much money because of the corona pandemic and uncertainty over when the tourism business will return to normal. Health Minister Wells acknowledging a nursing shortage in the country. He says they're trying to fix the situation. Works Minister Bannister telling the media it's not up to him to take care of persons in Abaco displaced by the government's shantytown policy on the island. Police have a 60-year-old American man in custody suspected of human trafficking. Police say it's in connection with what they call a job scam in Orlando, Florida. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, high pressure in the area, producing windy conditions through Friday, mostly sunny and windy today, highs in the low to mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. Advisory is posted for boaters, winds gusting to 20, 25 knots, the seas up to 8 feet over open waters, low tide now, the next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, passing showers, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines. It's slowed a bit, but that Middle East conflict continues. Israel carrying out more airstrikes into Gaza. More than 200 casualties on the Palestinian side. Israel is reporting 12 casualties, including two children. Diplomatic efforts continue to try to get the two sides to agree to a ceasefire. India's coronavirus cases continue to come down, but that country has additional problems caused by a major cyclone that hit the western part of the country earlier in the week. Thousands are displaced. A number of persons died in that. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubis $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on our beach soccer team competing in Costa Rica. Tribune Sports has the details of a blowout win over the Dominican Republic. There's a check with uh, pro volleyball player Eugene Stewart. 
who's making a stop home. Special tribute coming for Jazz Chisholm from the Marlins. Read about that in the Tribune Sports. Now the two hits for him last night at Philadelphia, including a two-run homer. He has his average up to 307 now. And read the latest on the pressure being applied to get the Olympic Games canceled in Tokyo. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.